Hello, it's me again. Um, tonight I am reviewing another Ormond Jane fragrance. This time it's Osmanthus. Um, I've nearly finished my discovery pack now, so it's been like a little bit of an Ormond Jane ride recently. Um, this one's a floral fruity, and um, I think it came out in 2004, maybe a little bit after, I'm not sure. Um, I wanted to say actually, just before I start this review, before I start going off on my tangents, I'm quite excited because um, I'm getting a new camera. So right now I use my little, you know, snap snap camera, my Lumix camera, which I think does a job, but I'm getting an actual proper one with a tripod, so I want to take steps to make my videos a little bit more appealing, I guess, rather than just this, or my other room with the curtains behind me. Um, I can start taking my camera out and doing reviews outside and stuff because it is coming into spring. So, hopefully, if you guys are watching, you know I'm I'm gonna um, and want to watch them. I guess I'm gonna yeah try to kind of just step my game up a bit because it you can only so much you can look at this background even for myself. Um, and I'm also thinking of doing I don't even know how successful it's going to be, but um, I wanted to do a kind of questions and answers video. I've seen other people do it, and I'm gonna throw myself out there and see if it works for me. I've found, you know, a lot of answers to questions that I've had through videos like that, so I'm going to do one, and we'll just see what happens, I guess. So, watch this space. Where would that be? I don't know. Anyway, back to this review. This one is for women. It's aimed at women. Um, yeah, I've quite enjoyed wearing this one. I've, I've worn it a couple of times now. I've nearly finished my sample, so it's usually the reason for me wanting to review something. I've got a couple of wears out of it, let it dry down, kind of got a feel for it. Um, and yeah, this one's on the better side. I've not had the best experience with this with the company yet, but um, I'll tell you what's in it. So um, the top notes are pomelo, which is a citrus fruit, which is likened to grapefruit. Well, I'll talk about that in a minute. Then you've got divana or divana, which is an Egyptian herb. Um, apparently, it is. I think it actually is Artemisia, it's also known as Artemisia, or it's just another kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not variation. It's another branch, it's like another type of Divana is Artemisia. I think it might even be just that it is actually Artemisia. Then you've got Pimento, which is a, a, like capsicum, like a, a bell pepper, but it's a spicy one. Quite an unusual note, that one. Then the heart notes, you've got your three flowers. Um, Osmanthus, obviously, which is what this whole fragrance is centred around. Sambac Jasmine and Water Lily. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the heart notes are um, Labdanum, Cedar, good old Cedar, Musk and Vetiver. So, what I've found with Ormond Jane fragrances is if they name a fragrance after a certain thing, they've got one called Champaka, they've got one called Thiers, they've got one called uh, Osmanthus, you know, that's a single ingredient, but it seems that the name of the fragrance isn't always the starring note, and it's really obvious in this one. So I've got it drying on my hand, and my first impression of this when I first put it on, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I, I thought I was smelling blackcurrant. I, I thought that smells really... It smells like it's got blackcurranty tones in it, which took me by surprise, because you know when you look at something on paper, it doesn't necessarily hit your nose in the same way as what you kind of preconceive it to be, which, you know, I always make that mistake thinking, oh, I might like that, and then it just throws me for six. So this is essentially a citrus fragrance. Um, and even further than that, it's a tropical citrus fragrance. It's very weird. Um, pomelo, like I said, it's likened to grapefruit. That is really, really powerful in this. It's so nice to smell a brand new citrus that I've never smelled before and be able to pick it out and actually pinpoint it and think, oh, that is that is really interesting. This is what I say. <laughs> pomelo is to grapefruit as bergamot is to lemons. You've got grapefruit and you've got lemon. They are the most familiar fruits. Um, you know, a lot of people know what they smell like, what they taste like. You have lemon and you have bergamot. Bergamot is very similar to lemon, but it's more interesting. It's a little bit more herbal, it's a little bit more sexed up. And pomelo is exactly that to grapefruit. It smells like grapefruit, but it's more interesting. It's not bitter. It's a little bit sparkly. It's a little bit more herbal in the same way that bergamot is, but it's 
it's like pomelo and bergamo are the sisters and lemon and grapefruit are they're both both they're all citrus but these are like the two herbal sisters it's really cool i like it and that is really apparent in this um yeah also very fruity it's a very fruity citrus and tropical fragrance to me osmanthus is um a, a shrub or sometimes it's, it even grows to tree size and the little flowers from it are supposed to have tones of apricot um, plums, prunes, so you know kind of fleshy fruits and I think that's what's coming up more in this than any kind of floral tone you know this has got sandback jasmine in it which is uh, incredible, incredible smelling, it's beautiful and water lily as well, not too familiar with that one but the overall feel of this is it feels like the whole fragrance is based around the top notes um, and the heart, well mainly the osmanthus um, and not really any of this heavy musk vetiver labdanum in the bottom which is that's what's surprising to me about it, that's what took me by surprise when I smelled it. I also have a sample of um, Jo Malone's osmanthus perfume so I've been smelling them kind of side by side just because I've never really smelled osmanthus before and it's nice to try and get to know another flower especially for me because flowers are my weakest point I will hold my hands up and say that so I'll put them side by side so I, I do get a feel for what osmanthus actually smells like it's very light um, spring like is always a bad word to say because it, that sums up a lot of stuff but it's very light um, slightly delicate and kind of fruity smelling which is right because it's supposed to smell kind of like apricots and prunes so a lot, a lot of their fragrances, um, I feel like I'm getting really familiar with this house now and kind of what their vibe is and they all have this herbal feel so this one again has this kind of almond jainy herbal kind of refinedness to it, they all have this, I, I reckon you know when someone has a, their signature on a fragrance you can kind of just, you get used to it and I'm getting used to theirs now, this is, it's just not as heavy as the name would suggest um, like I said, it's kind of still slightly sparkling and a little bit effervescent smelling. Um, and yeah, it's just, it, it, they've all got this kind of herbal freshness to them, apart from Tolu. I always say that in every Ormond Jane review, but Tolu was the only one that's been different so far. Um, and yeah, I mean, I guess that's kind of it. It stays in the top half. It's It smells literally like a, a herbal grapefruit with kind of tropical tone mainly apricot because apricot is you know quite an exotic fruit from well if you're from London it is um, and yeah I don't really get any of these heavy base notes from it I've let it dry down so many times on my skin and they it doesn't seem to appear on me I don't know if that's just me or not or if my skin's different to yours which it probably is um, I mean you know pH wise and body chemistry wise <laughs> obviously my skin's different to yours otherwise we'd be in the same skin that was a dumb comment but you know what I mean so yeah I mean I kind of like it I don't again I don't think it's something that I would buy but overall it's a it's mainly a citrus very very light floral um, tropical slightly herbal fragrance and that's the best way that I can describe it it's a bit of a toughie but um I've enjoyed wearing it, it's slightly refreshing because you've got that beautiful, pomelo is lovely, I'd like to get my hands on some essential oil of that now just so I can, sorry I'm just using the last of my my thing, yeah, I'd like to get my hands on that just so I can really smell it on its own but it just sticks out a mile in this, it really does, it's so, and there's only one citrus in the top but it's all about that, so um, that's it, I'll see you guys for another review, I can't wait to get my camera, it's in the post so I'm going to do my questions and answer video, so I'll preempt it now. If anybody wants to tweet me a question, and I'm going to do an actual video saying that I'm going to do a questions and answer video, but if anybody wants to tweet me a question, it's at Outramano. I'm going to set a date and I will do a video in response to any questions you might have. Not that I'm the all-knowing person, but I feel like I know quite a bit. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching as always, and goodbye.